Welcome back to Vintage Family Recipes. If you notice, I'm in a very different kitchen than normal. It's July and I'm home visiting my family in New York for the summer. I decided it would be nice to make a video here in the kitchen that I grew up in, learning how to cook with my mom, my sister, my aunts, my grandmother. It just has a lot of memories, obviously. The recipe I'm going to cook today is my mom's, and it's for vanilla pudding. There's no AC here, and so you often want to make something in the summer that is sweet but does not use an oven. And this serves that purpose. It tastes great. You can add berries to it if you want, and you can put whipped cream on the top of it, and it's a nice summer treat. Or you can just eat it plain. So we are going to make my mom's homemade vanilla pudding today. To start, I add a third of a cup of sugar, a quarter teaspoon of salt. I happen to have pink Himalayan. You can use just regular white salt. It doesn't really matter. Three tablespoons of cornstarch. Mix them together. The last ingredient that you use for the cooking is two and a half cups of milk. There's my two. There's my half. So now I stir. The mixture is over a medium heat and I'm going to stir this until it thickens. And then once it's thick, I cook for two to three minutes longer and then I'll remove it from the heat and add the vanilla at the very end. So, and I'm not used to my mom's stove at all anymore. This is not the stove we had when I was younger. My mother is much more patient than I am, so her making vanilla pudding was probably an easier thing for her than it is for me, because I am not always patient. But I'm going to try to be for this. As you can see, it's getting thicker. I don't think it's there yet. My mom was just in the house and she said I wasn't there yet. And then she walked back out. So, um, yeah. I think she's camera shy. Come look again. Tell me how much thicker I need to be. You need to be quite very thick, almost like a pudding thing. So not that, that's still not thick enough no, then? No, no. Thick of pudding in addition to eating like pudding. Okay. I haven't had pudding in so long, I don't even know what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> Now that the pudding is thick, I'm going to turn it off and I am going to, I will then place the vanilla in and mix the vanilla. It says I need two and a half teaspoons of vanilla. So there's one, two, my half. Mix it all together and let it Cool. So here we go. Now it smells like homemade vanilla pudding. I'm actually going to grab a bowl and pour it into a bowl so that it's not sitting in the hot pan any longer. just needs to cool and then we can do a taste test. So now we're going to taste test. This bowl has the pudding in it and it's nice and firm. So I'm going to just take a scoop. Ooh, it has that 
nice creamy top. I'm going to put a scoop in the bowl. It's pudding. And? Um, I'm, it's been so long since I've had store-bought pudding, and I'm, I'm trying to remember what it's like so that I can compare it. Um, it's not as sweet. No, it's definitely not as sweet. So if you are trying to avoid sugar, this is a good recipe. It only uses a third of a cup of sugar, so it is not sweet like the pudding you buy in the store. Even vanilla pudding is in the store is much sweeter than this. I think, and I don't know if this is because there's less sugar, but I think I taste more of the milk okay. than with store-bought pudding. Probably. So it's, it's... Creamier, not necessarily in texture, but in taste, right? Okay. Like like more of a, a dairy taste. Okay, that makes sense. Not the flavor, but the consistency of it reminds me of like a thick Greek yogurt or an Icelandic yogurt. That really thick yogurt. Yeah, not quite, but similar. Yeah. I almost think maybe there could have been a little more vanilla in there. I'm almost thinking the same thing. Like it, I'm, I'm having a hard time finding the vanilla taste. Mm -hmm. Maybe like a full two teaspoons instead of a teaspoon and a half. Yeah. Yeah. I was just thinking the same thing. Or just add chocolate. Because chocolate makes everything better. <laughs> and it's not vanilla pudding, though. I know, but it would then be chocolate pudding. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on Vintage Family Recipes.